Hello, I'm Bude and welcome to episode 9, season 9 of Rail of Eado. As always, thanks for joining me. It's massively, massively appreciated. Make sure you do the good stuff. Hit that thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new and hit that bell and you'll never miss anything to do as we wrap up. FM23, I'm still loving a bit of Rail of Eado. I'm assuming you are too. Um, enjoy playing this season. A bit of escapism towards the end of my holiday before the reality of actually having to go back to work bit me in the ass crap um i've decided i'm definitely going to do a 10th one i'm going to round this series off at 10 because i think we're getting quite close to the beta aren't we um for fm24 i'm quite excited to get my teeth into a new game but we have this season to get through and you might remember last season we won the copa del rey and we lost the title when real madrid equalized in the 90th minute so we're getting closer and closer and closer but it's still tough you know we're not Barca we're not Real we're not Atletico Madrid we're not even Valencia we don't have their power their weekly wage budget all that good stuff but I like that I like the challenge could year 9 be the goddamn year well maybe we'll find out let's get into it so with the season about to start away the new camp against Barcelona nice test <laughs> for the season these were our finances and they look amazing don't get me wrong now i actually brought in about 125 million pounds and i spent about 103 although about 30 of that is stretched out i did actually spend some good chunks of cash i needed to or wanted to um, the issue this year was going to be our squad wage budget which was set at 1.4 million and it went over that so i had to make some sacrifices there's a few little tweaks i had to make i've promoted a couple of youngsters as well but i still think the squad i've got is good enough and i think some of the players have brought in are good enough to build a young exciting side that can hopefully go one better this year now the big changes as well um real madrid and barcelona have both got new managers i think real madrid had Klopp, he's gone somewhere, I think it was Germany, something like that, who cares, now, the bookies like us again, they've got us in third, I think we can compete, I really, really do, let's just look at pre-season while we're here, it was okay, um, it was okay, <laughs> as you can see, uh, I always got the States and a bit of a tour, I really enjoyed that, I love it, um, although it didn't go perfectly to plan, but I'll be honest with you, I mean, I won't go through each, each team shit in detail, but maybe you can tell from that, that I did B team, I did quite, I did try and use the squad, and that's my theory this year. I'm going to try and use the squad as much as I can. Now, we've had good runs in the Copa del Rey, it's a fantastic trophy, and uh, we've won a couple, all right? We've lost one as well, <laughs> remember? The big final against Real Madrid. How sweet was the last episode? But that is ancient history. It's on to a new, and I've decided, or I made that decision, that the Copa del Rey was going to get B-teamed. So let's look at the outs, and Morgan's Gib White has gone to Wolves. Wolves like my players for 30 million. Now he sells some shirts and he's a good player, and I was fascinated by this. The clubs that came in for him were crazy. Maybe they were telling me, you've still got a great player here, but I wanted to move on. Uh, we've got seven and a half million for Kang in Lee. And then Pozo, couldn't give him last year. He didn't go in the Champions League squad. It caused quite a freaking rift within my squad. Um, he left on a free. Now this lad was fantastic, Nicolo Fagioli. He's been great for us, fantastic player. I had no intention of selling him, um, but then I had a good youngster in the squad and I got a bid in from Inter for 32 million. The big one, trust me, is this one. My left back, Miguel Gutierrez, who I liked, who spat his dummy out maybe a season or two ago when I rejected a bid from Say. Um, I think I gave him a new deal. I've got a good young left back in Petrov. I find another good young left back and they gave me 56 million pounds. Well, first off, I wanted a new right back because I've got a good young right back. I've got a midfielder who covers at right back and then Pozo left. And so I wanted an actual right back who can also cover in defensive midfield. It's Sumalia Cabral. 21 year old fullback. Not a wonder kid, cost me a freaking fortune. No, 47 million quid eventually. This one, He's not a wonder kid or anything. He's not even going to be in my first team. He's in the B team. And it cost me 12 and a half million minimum fee. But my scouts loved him. Look at his value now. I've put him out there for long because he's only 16. I don't know how he's not a wonder kid. I bet you he will become a wonder kid. Now, my backup keeper won't bad. Again, they're usually average, aren't they, my backup goalkeepers? But why is someone younger and cheaper? And this was one of the things I had to do where I hadn't sold him at this point, my backup. He does leave eventually. He's down in the B team. But 
with pay rises, I was struggling to get to the 1.4 million. We were going like 1.5, 1.6. So some of these are sacrifice sells like Fagioli. It's like, well, I well, don't want to sell you, but you're offering me that much money. I've got an half decent youngster in the youth team who's costing nowhere near as much in wages. I had to bring the wage down. Even though we've got it to spend, you have that cap. I did sign a new midfielder. This lad's more of an AMC to help Tenassi, right? But can also play in the middle. Gonna go up for gonna go up to 25 million. Uh, again, not a wonder kid or anything. Best I could get. I need a new left back. We sold Gutierrez. I spent 26 million combined-ish on this young lad, a wonder kid uh, from Bayer Leverkusen, who's Spanish, never played in Spain. He was generated in Germany, so he's come home for the first time ever. What I didn't like was the best player in the world, superstar Wilson. You know, he's on a big wage now. That didn't help. 200 grand a week. He's got a massive minimum fee. You know, he's ears, hours, forever. Five-year deal, right? Got injured two days before this game in training. I mean, because he was good in his first year, but look at last season. I was devastated. What we do have, though, a guy signed last year is Peter Kosa, 20-year-old Slovak, still a wonder kid, and a fantastic player himself. But can he step up to the plate? Now, I'm not going through the whole team. You know it by now. I think the weakest area... Is the middle of the park and by christmas with other pay rises and so on i have to sell one of my main midfielders i get an offering i can't turn down um i drag it out though and wait till after the transfer deadline so he's, he's still in the squad or in the at the club until the end of the season but we're going to get about 35 million for him it is strumbo um wages are struggling and i would got to the point where i'm thinking right someone's got to go who's not playing as much and he, he bites the bullet later on in the season. I mean, we've got money. They can't release that money. It's frustrating because there's some fantastic players out there. I would love to strengthen the midfield. I'd love to strengthen the goalkeeper. I think we're fantastic going forward. Um, and like I said, I've promoted a few kids. Ivan, I've got a couple of Ivans in the squad, to be fair. And they're all right. They've got potential, but they're not. Are they there? Maybe not. And by the 20th of October, we were turning to Real Becking Madrid, who are in second and have got a game in hand. But I'd played eight and I'd won eight. And the first few games of this season, I will never forget, made me really proud. I think it started to, it showed early the character of my team, the spirit they've got. Because if you look, we went 1 0 down to Barcelona, away, came back. One of my youngsters, Alessandro, getting me the winner. So we came back from 1 0 down. Again, though, Atletico Madrid, 1 0 down very early. Cosa and Lima come back. Then against Alves, where I rotated the side, right? Same thing, letting an early goal, but come back into the game. By the 1st of January, we're still looking pretty good. We're still at the top of the league. We're six points clear of Villarreal. Then Barca, Real Madrid, man. Transition happens. It happens. He lost a few big time players. Bellingham went to Bayern Munich. And obviously, Osterman's gone on a free. Um, could have picked him up, but anyway, he was, he was up for it. I didn't want an old striker. I've got I love my team and I love Wilson, who is the leading goal scorer joint with some dude for Villarreal. Kosa in third. That guy did step up to the plate. Very good. I've got the three best players in the league. So after the 6 0 drubbing with the B team against Malaga, we faced uh, Espanyol. Then we drew Real Madrid. And only fourth now, but I still think it's them who will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with if we can stay where we are, they'll come back. It's Real Madrid. But look at this. 4-1. Uh, 3 1, 6 2, 6 2, 5 2. I mean, defensively, we're getting a bit shaky. 4 2, 6 3. I don't even know who they are. Don't even know who they are. B team, I've tried to rotate the hell out of it. If I've got a game before the Champions League or a game against someone in the bottom five, I'm B teaming it. Why not? Uh, I played Villarreal and then last game I played at this point, we got beat. So this is a squad arranged by goals. You can see Peter Kosa has been doing fantastic. Wilson, brilliant since he's come back and he missed a good chunk of the start of the season. Uh, sometimes they play together and it's very dangerous when they do. I love it. Uh, Alessandro, look at him, my youngster. One of our own. He's one of our own. Kulik, great left winger. Didn't like playing where I'm playing, but he's tough. Iban, been in our wild, really developing into a good player. Tanasi is absolutely fantastic. What's up with him at the moment? I can't remember. Vine, fine for violent conduct. Get a grip of yourself. This kid, one-on-one kid, only four-star potential. Been great as a backup. 
absolutely brilliant torres he's one of our own i love it how many we've come through the academy it's been a long time since i've done this and in that squad now there's four five six players that have come through ish do you know what i mean some have dropped back down again because they had to and some drop back down again at the end of this month because at the end of the month when you have to um, put your squad back in fucking wages have gone back up again so i'm like end up going like trimming the squad down again it's it's yeah, it's really frustrating. We've now jumped home to March, not April, for a few reasons. And um, we're still top of the league. I'm going to show you quickly. I've lost three. Ouch, yeah. Barcelona beat me. Athletic Madrid have beat me. Only 1-0. You know what I mean? Not getting our ass kicked. Uh, Villarreal have dropped off a bit. Real Madrid is still fourth. We're here also to look at the Copa del Rey, which we're out of. So, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, I was going to concentrate on other things. Playing shit-ass teams I've never heard of. I mean, we did all right in the first one. Uh, and then we played Sigourney and Viania, whoever they are. Generally never heard of them, never never seen that logo in my life. Um, look at a stay in it. The Vilson. Coming on. I mean, look, I've got Ivan Ivan and Iban in midfield. Now I said I didn't care about the Super Copper, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send out a lot of kids like it in the Copper Del Rey. It's still the Super Copper. But you know, whatever the result, I'm not gonna be asked. Beat Villarreal. I absolutely loved it. Look at the goals as well. Look at that, when we scored so early. I mean, fun game, would have made a fantastic live com. Not just because we beat Real Madrid again. I mean, we've got their number now, haven't we? The tide is turning, but it was just a fun game. When we kind of struggled a bit, I mean, we faced some good teams. It was in the Champions League, I was disappointed with this. Because like I said, I B-teamed in the league. Hoping that we'd be fit and ready for the Champions League. Um, and we finished ninth. Now here are all the results and the knockout results. You can see that right there. I don't care. But you can see, look at the start there. Inter Milan and Milan. Quite tough. Monaco, which we battered. You know, two twos away as well in, in Milan. Back to back. So that wasn't too bad. Beat Olympiacos. Beat Marseille. The Bayern game. Was... Our defence was shocking and we just couldn't score enough. Look how crazy that is. That was the disappointment. I, I mean... I'm not asked about the Inter of Milan because of who they are, but young boys. Uh, beat Rangers, Brian Kane. Have that. 2 0. Obviously, we didn't get in the top eight, so we had to play Borussia Munch and Gladbach, who we beat 2 0. And then 5 3. Mwah. Look at that. So, of course, you may have noticed at the bottom of the screen, we've got Barcelona next. Very excited. I mean, we could beat them quite a lot. We've beat them back when we were pretty shit. So, you know, anything could happen. Got Mikel Arteta as the manager. What I found very strange was that Ten Hag was the manager. I'm pretty sure he went to Arsenal. I'm pretty, I think he must have got sacked. And then now he's come to Barcelona. Game does that loads, doesn't it? Manager swapping. Things that would not happen, I don't think, in real life. It's the 17th of April. We had a great intake a while ago. Signed quite a few of the lads up. I mean, even when they're average, we tend to get one good player. And them first few years, we were getting really good ones. It's been good. I mean, we haven't created a wonder kid. We haven't created a world star. But we've created good, solid players that help the squad. Our depth to the squad, help with European squads, all that stuff. I mean, some have sold on for a million or two million. Do you know what I mean? So, it's been probably one of the best youth academies I've ever had. Let's check the league while we're here. And we're still top. And we've qualified for something. Um, and I'm 12 points clear. Real Madrid is still in fourth. We've got games in hand. What's going on? I don't. I, I, I'm thinking at this point because I'm going to jump forward a little bit more soon. I'm thinking, who's catching us? More on that later because we are out of the Champions League. We drew with Barcelona, two-two at home, and I, I wasn't feeling too much, but we did it. Looking at four-two away, and then we got Bayern. Very close games. I mean, it was close. Lots of goals and close in the group stage. Remember, was it 5-4? Or 3-2? And then 3-3. Three, three. It was always a tough ask. But, you know, getting to the quarterfinals. Oh, definitely doing season 10. And that was the moment I thought, my squad's good still. Look what we're doing in the league. It's fucking young and exciting. right? And they, at times, play fantastic stuff. Maybe, you know, whatever wage budget I get in the summer, I'll just spunk it all on. A fucking baller of a goalkeeper. Uh, and maybe that'll be it I don't know but that was that thing in my head that went nah 10's a great number let's do the 10th because I want to try and get to a final in the league though I've been on fire as you can see win 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 going into Real Madrid in my next league game but we're going to jump forward just a little bit more a little bit 
to this point, definitely had Champions League blues, and this is when I was like, oh my god, what is happening? So after the, we got knocked out of the Champions League, of course, like you've just seen, I had to play Real Madrid. They beat me 2-1. Then I, got, I lost this game. And then I drew with Espanyol. I'm still top of the league, but we are doing our very fucking best to balls this up with four games left to go. Now I'm seven points clear. But if we carry on this form, I'm throwing this out the window. Barcelona are catching me up. Real Madrid are in third. Villarreal are in fourth. But I'm, I'm 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 at the point of panicking, and this is my last save file. I thought Villarreal, they've been up there with us all season. Away would make a fantastic live com. Now I don't I don't know. I'm crap with maths. I ain't even sat here and try to work it out. You know me by now, most of you. I don't know if a win and results going other ways would win us the league right now. I just thought it'd be a great live com to do. Can we bounce back away against a good opponent? You unfortunately have to. Great, freaking, fantastic, very handsome, sexy bastards. Injured. Tanasi. His quality. His absolute quality. Vilson's knackered. Ivan's been great for me this year on the right wing. You know, I've got guys who can step in. I want me ballers, man. And look at the money. I mean, I've still got 105 million in the bank, and they've given me my budget already, which is 40 million. Give me some more money. I mean, I might get a good goalkeeper, but it's not going to be like top end, you know, 80 million kind of player, is it? I'm going to try and find a youngster. I just feel tonight, I know he's good, he's been decent for me. I've been my goalkeeper for years. I just feel maybe that's me missing Link and a midfielder. I mean, look, even on 1.4 million, I must be just over it. We're back on a red cross. I could not register the current squad I've got. And I've, I started out last year at a 25 man, started this season with 23 man, and now I've got a 21 man. I have to promote kids, other kids. I've got a million Ivans in my team. So we spanked Villarreal 3 0 at our place. We'll go to their place for this episode's live con. We'll see how the rest of the season goes after that. Let's get into it. We need a win. Well, here we go at Villarreal Stadium, and we need a win massively. Massively need a performance. Um, two of my big players aren't 100%. And um, what's he called? Castanet isn't 100 percent Vilson's not 100 percent but there's no one else there. And I thought if got him and Costa on, at least get half out of Vilson, maybe hit him early and try and get the three points, get some goals. But yeah, um I've been back to work today, so and I've been to the gym. I'm back at the gym. Trying my hardest. Um to get back into the shape I was in in my early twenties. <laughs> And I ain't got a big split today, so I'm filming this just for people who always wonder about stuff. Oh no, 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 no. I'm filming this on the Tuesday, but I won't be editing it and putting it out till Wednesday. And then I'm hoping, because I'm off this weekend, a few evenings, a few late nights, I can get season 10 out by Sunday, if you watch it when the videos come out live, if you know what I mean. We'll see. Um, so here he is, he ain't 100%, but he's a fantastic player, he's got a bit of interest. A few of my players have got interest, to be fair. I've tried to make sure they've got big minimum fees, some of the big timers. Then they're not going to get poached. Uh, Jeremy nearly got poached. He had interest from Liverpool, City and someone else. Um, managed to get him a new contract. He was happy to talk, which is fantastic. He's only 21. My centre-half, Jeremy. He's, in the, he's got into the Spain squad now. Um, he's been brilliant. What's going on now? I'll do that in a minute. Is he knackered? Yeah, where is he? He's not that bad, is he? We'll see. Here's Kosa. Can score a goal! Absolutely buzzing with that. 1-0. Just what I need. Especially because they look like they're a bit better. Created more than us. Do I am missing? Spain itself. Benners. Benners was great, you know. I don't know if we'll ever be able to do that again. I'll wait till I have time for that one. Um, fantastic. We're thinking about going with the family now. Because I've heard all my stories. Um, I won't be going down the strip though, the nightclub part. I might see, because my mum and my sister come with us and all, uh, my niece and my nephew. We've been to France the last two years. But uh, they'll happily babysit the kids. I said to the wife, I'll take you down the old town. A few nice bars, we'll have a tapas and uh, watch a few singing song shows. I found this beautiful bar with a rooftop terrace. You have to take a lift up to it. We can see all Benidorm up at night, which was surprisingly lovely. So I'm going to take the wife. To be fair, I'll probably enjoy it more with my wife. She's my best mate. Well done. I love my wife. Me and her have got a solid relationship. You know what I mean? We have a good laugh. Very good. <laughs> we have a good time. We argue because we're married. We're married. Fucking 
10 years in March 2024. Been together 20 years in December. The 1st of December was when we officially became boyfriend and girlfriend uh, many moons ago. 20 years this year, yeah. Christ, time flies, doesn't it? My, my youngest son, Jackson, was um, three over the weekend. I mean, any of you lot have been around the whole my whole YouTube career, you remember when I started? I didn't have any kids. That's how mad that is. And I've got a, se a, a lad who's nearly seven and a three-year-old. I'm having no more. No. No. <laughs> I'm done. I love my boys. I don't want any more. My youngest is a mental case. He's a beautiful lad. If he becomes, if he became a middle child, no. I, I know many middle children. They're all mental. So, no. We're not doing that. But yeah, 1-0. It's still 1-0. It's very shaky. We need the... We need... I need... I want a clean sheet, to be fair. But I'll take the three points. But, oh, what a ball. Well controlled by Chuck Woozy. What a f***ing name. And there you go. Fair play. So it's half time here in Villarreal. And they are definitely playing better than us. I do need to make some changes, don't I? Wilson's not ready. Not really a right winger, really, anyway. This is where we start to struggle, though. Because my squad's down at 21. And because... I've like, he was a good midfielder, he's now down in the B team, he can't be in the first team because I can't afford his wages. With his transfer all set, I think he's going UV or somewhere like that. Good player. I just had to make a sacrifice. I couldn't register my squad. I'm having to put a young lad on called Ivan, who's 19 years old and not, not ready. I've got a young lad on the right wing, Garcia, who's decent, not ready. And maybe this is what's happening towards the end of the season. We're just lacking now. Lose, lost a bit of depth. Relying on youth. When the big guys are knackered like the Vilsons. And like me... Get that off the... My God! But we could genuinely bottle job this. And that would be really bad. Because the way we started. The way we went undefeated for so long. Um, do you know what I mean? I'd be, I'd be gutted. But we'll see. Got a while left in this game. Boys aren't giving up just yet. Actually, let's encourage him. Let's give him some encouragement. Why not? Come on, lads. Encouragement. Pat on the bottom, as I always say. Here come Villarreal. Top four going for Champions League in this 2-1. God, I've got a lot of yellows, haven't I? I've got four yellows. Three of my defenders are on yellows. Oh, God. Oh, that's all I need, isn't it? Ten men. It's still 25 minutes to go. Oh, man, that was shocking. That was shocking. Oh, well, yeah. Nearly made up for it. But they're still on us. And here they come. And... Oh, fucking hell, I thought I went in. This will be four games without a win. After being so unstoppable. Oh, man, we need big time. Oh, there you go. Shit. Oh, come on. We're going to collapse. We're going to collapse. I need a new goalkeeper. I mean, let's be honest. It's not just Barcelona you need to worry about. We have got a game in hand, and they're only a point behind them. If we don't start winning any games, and we play like this, it's, a f it's fun, though, isn't it? It's not, it's not fun. Osasuna! Osasuna, also also I've gone forward a little bit to see Osasuna beat Barcelona 1-0. I don't want to rely on other people, no. Not when we've been so good. I mean, not winning for four games, but, you know. Now, don't get me wrong. We should be, we should win our last three games. Now, we beat them 6-3, I think, early in the season. Levante are 18th, and they're 12th. I mean, after that last game, Wilson's hooked. Which ain't great. Tenassi's on his way back, though. He's on his way back. Expected to be out for five to ten days. So what are we doing now? Because I, I wanted the Villarreal to be the big comeback, but we've watched us get our ass handed to us on the plate. We should win that next game. I, I might just play a little bit now and see where we get to. Now, Barcelona play before us on the Saturday next week, and then we play on the Sunday, the, well, after Real Madrid. So we'll get a good idea before that game. So I'm going to get to that game, and we'll see what happened with the other ones. Well, Real Madrid won... 2-0 and they've still got a game in hand so what's that nine points they can get 87 points they get if we get if we win this we'll only have 86 so if we win this we won't have won the league will we it'll still be mathematically possible i'm guessing for real madrid to win it we bounce back we bounce back we dominated them should have been about 20 nil yes and like i thought i'm actually done. quite proud of myself Working out numbers, I'm not very good with them. We haven't won the league. Not yet. We win one more game though, we've won it, because they can only get 87, can't they? And both my games are away. Now we're playing Levante, who are 18th, right? 
Can't fit another life coming. But what I will do is one of them ones where I just jump in or replays and hopefully there's lots of replays for us. Okay, here we are. I'm about to play Levante away, right? Real Madrid have played two games in between my last game, right? Two games. They played Atletico Madrid away and beat them 2-0. And they played Malaga away and beat them 2-0, leaving us where we are right now. So they've only got one game left to play. So they can get 85, 87 points. If I can win here, I'll have 89 points. So Real Madrid are steamrolling their way to the end of the season. And I'm scared they're going to nick it off, mate. Again, I can't lie. I'm um, a part of the best team, as they always do, in situations like this. I've got both my goal scorers on. Uh, Tanasi is back. He's on the bench. Well, we're in our Denton Villa kit. Lucky as always. And we took an early lead. Tanasi might not be here. But he's understudy. Kromen Tujin. That's what I'm going for. Stepped up. 1-0. We're, we're trying our best. We're trying our best. To fuck it up! Honestly... Honestly, what 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 was that? Ooh, Tenasi, who? Tenasi, who? Kromen Tujin is a legend. Cracking bit of football then, but it's getting checked. It's getting checked. Goal awarded. I was buzzing with this. Now they they've been playing out the back a lot and doing a very good job of it. And before messed up and Wilson nearly scored. Check this out: two goals and assist. Three one. Title is getting closer now. There must be a question from some of you watching this episode and wondering why the hell is Bood wearing a Birmingham City away kit, right? With all the badges. Well, I mentioned in a video a while back that when Tom Brady, big NFL fan, I love Tom Brady, purchased part of Birmingham City, how cool would it be to have a shirt with Brady 12 on the back? Now, I think my mate CP has bought it for me because it just arrived. It's got Brady 12 on the back. Oh, hey, there you go. Stick him up top. Oh, referee don't like it. He's checking his little ear. Goal disallowed, you wanker. But he hasn't actually confirmed if it was him or not. He's joked, but I don't know if it was. I need to thank him. But I wanted him to say, yeah, I got it, yeah. I messaged him in my little group we're in. But yeah. So yeah, I've got um, a Brady 12 Birmingham City shirt. Although he got me extra large this time. He's bought me shirts in the past, double XL. But he decided to buy me extra large. It's very snug. We're getting there. We're nearly there. I had made a change. Alanjo came on up top. Am I going to get to play a game? The last game of the season with a B team. Give some boys a run out. Yes, I am. Because after nine years, hours and hours of joy. Don't get me wrong. But many hours of doubt. Many episodes of doubt. Finally, finally managed to put a team together that could win La Liga. We've won everything in Spain now. And knowing I'm only doing one more season, can I win something in Europe? I mean, the Champions League would be a big ask, but going into next year as champions of Spain, will it open doors for us? So here we are at the end of the season. Um, a B team that last game. Loads of kids a chance. Loads of guys that probably weren't really fit, but I didn't care. The league was wrapped up. We've won it by two points. Lost seven in the end. Really, the wheels nearly came off, didn't they? Um, Real Madrid only lost three. But drew too many. We only drew two. I'm surprised I didn't have a leading goal scorer. Is what it is, though. I mean, he missed a good chunk of the start of the season. Wilson, or he might have done it. Um, but it's this guy. I'm guessing he's a real player. And I think he scored against me, didn't he? In that horrible live comment this episode. But I just want to thank you for sticking with this. It's the end of FM23. FM24 is just around the corner. We're all looking forward to new game, new content. So, you know, I do appreciate any view I get at this time of year, especially the series like this. But I've loved it. Hopefully you have too. It's been a slog. It's been fun. Um, I feel like we've achieved so much. And I want to do one more season, try and do what I can in Europe. But wow, wow, honestly, I'm such a high. Even this game, as old as it is, stuff like this gives me a high. I might give my wife some sweet, sweet bird loving later. Hey, lucky devil, isn't she? Hey, to have a bit of this man all over her. Might keep the Birmingham City shirt on. Treat her. Why not? Anyway, you stay happy. You stay safe. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, bell, all that stuff. I love you long time. Championis.